until you can forgive yourself and the other, there's still a thing there. You follow that? There's a thing there. If you forgive yourself, that's half of the relationship. So if you harmed me in some way, and we both have it on our maps, and after the workshop you call me up and say, Paul, I've forgiven myself for the way I talk to you. And I say, have you forgiven me for the way I reacted to you? And you say, no, I haven't been able to do that yet. We only have half of a, of a resolution. There's still a thing there. And that thing still has energy, and it still attracts consciousness, and it still creates reality. You follow this? So you cannot actually move out of the relative and into the absolute or out of not love and into real love until both parties are forgiven. Now here's another important thing. You are going to have people on your maps that will never forgive you in their lifetime. They will never forgive you. They aren't going to rise to that level of maturity in one lifetime. But if you can forgive yourself and forgive them, it opens your heart center. And if you forgive yourself and forgive them, what sort of energy are you projecting to them now, love or fear? And what is love doing to their fear, which is what is not, it's dissolving it. Even if they're 6,000 miles from here, the instant that you honestly forgive somebody for something they've done to you as a wrong, it begins dissolving the energy around what they're maintaining as a judgment, a hurt, a pain. Remember what space is? Okay. Uh, someone volunteers something with someone that you still hold an issue over. Your grandpa. Okay. Can you say what the issue is? Okay, so an issue about working for him. So, uh, Laura, what do you want to be, red or black? Red. red, okay. So here's Laura. Where's your grandpa at? Work. Physically right now? Yeah. Uh, he's in Marin at home. Marin County. And that's uh, several hundred miles from here. So here's grandpa. And he's in Marin, right? So here we are in San Diego County. And Marin County's a 10 hour drive from here. I got a question for you. How long does it take love to get to Marin from here? Faster. You know why? Because are you and your grandpa actually ever either able to separate yourselves from each other? So, how long does it take your grandfather to start feeling the effects of your forgiveness? Instantly. Instantly. Whether your grandfather consciously knows it or not, what percent of our awareness, our consciousness, is conscious? Eight. Ninety-two percent of it. So you might have to heal your grandfather to the level of 92 percent healed before he wakes up and goes, oh my God, she loves me. She doesn't hold the grudge against me anymore. You follow that? You might have to push the iceberg all the way up out of the water until he has a realization, she loves me. She's forgiven me. Okay? So when you look at your map, I want you to know that wherever anything is on the map, it's automatically connected to every other thing. You will not be able to experience love until you can forgive and forget. Put behind you all the wrongs you've done to others, the wrongs you've done to yourself, and the wrongs they've done to you. I have completely forgiven my father for being physically abusive because I have learned that he gave me exactly what I needed 
to become independent enough to be willing to study and go where society is very, very afraid to go, which is into psychological freedom and the use of my own mind and the strength to be different and not have a level of attachment to what society thinks that it stops me from being who I really am. Because at almost every stage in my career, people told me I was nuts and that the stuff that I was doing was crazy and that I was going to hurt people and blah, 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 blah. But now people are waking up to the fact that I create an educational system that actually works.